Doctor Strange. Today we are going to be creating a Doctor Strange cake. I'm excited about this. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Benedict Cumberbatch and today we are making a Doctor Strange cake. Now to create this cake, I'm using my PVC pipe system and I'm also using some styrofoam to create the bottom of his head so that I don't have to use that much cake. I'm using a 10 inch round cake. I dyed it green because of the time stone, which I just realized doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so I've got a 10 inch cake going on. I'm gonna add a layer of buttercream in the middle and then my second layer of cake. So my cakes are stacked. Next thing I'm gonna do is carve. Now I'm using these really expensive knives. No, I'm joking, I got them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Usually when I'm carving my cakes, I'm using like that oversized serrated knife. So I bought these so I don't have to do that. <laughs> Now just in case, I baked another 10 inch round cake, which I'm glad I did because I needed more cake at the top to create his hair. So I just finished carving. This is a cake so far, look at it. So I made sure that I could account for this swoop. It's really nice, almost like Superman. Almost as nice as Superman's. And then I left a lot of space here for buttercream so that I can really shape his face well. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is give this cake a crumb coat place it in the fridge to set up, and then I'm gonna add my skin tone layer of buttercream. And when I was adding his skin tone layer of buttercream, I wasn't sure how tan Benedict Cumberbatch was. He seems really pale, kind of pasty. And so I decided to make his skin tone lighter and then just darken it with like luster dust later on. And I'm adding a lot more buttercream than I need. And I'm just gonna shave it away little by little. And the first thing I did was make sure that I got all the spacing of his features right. So like where his brow bone meets his nose, the space in between his nose and his mouth, and his mouth and his chin. After that, I started to shape all of those elements very carefully and tried to make it as symmetrical as possible. And you're gonna notice that by the end of this cake, I kind of failed on the symmetry. <laughs> Like his nose and like the bottom of his face are just like crooked. <laughs> this is just a crooked Doctor Strange variant. And I was happy with his face. I removed some buttercream where his eyes are and then I added two gumballs to create those eyes. I love how glossy they are. Once those were in, I added black buttercream to create his hair and black was like the wrong color. <laughs> it gets darker, so I actually had to scrape all of this off, lighten it to be more of like a charcoal gray and then reapply it. I need to figure out how to avoid using paint brushes because it's really scary to think that some of these bristles come off in the buttercream. I'm very careful, but I don't want that to happen at all. So we've got the gray on top and then we have a lighter gray on the sides. I applied it with a paintbrush and then I scraped it away with some pottery tools. Creating all of this texture for Dr. Hare's strain, uh, Dr. Hare's <laughs> Dr. Strange's hair, it, it was hard. Hair texture is really hard to create with buttercream. But very slowly I just added texture and tried to separate all this buttercream to look like strands of hair. This isn't my technique yet. I think I'm gonna try silicone like basting brushes that way I can really avoid any of the bristles coming off in the buttercream now when I was happy with his head of hair I started to add buttercream to create the hair on his eyebrows and his goatee it's a lighter shade of gray but I'm gonna darken it with some gray luster dust later on it'll help me blend it to the rest of his face now most of his hair is created with buttercream but the three strands at the front are created with fondant so that it gives it more of a 3d element because he has a really nice swoop. Then I added very thin layers of fondant to create his eye color. And I'm just gonna use luster dust to give him pupils and some catch lights. Then we got some blush, a little bit of eyeshadow. All of this luster dust makeup is just making up for all of the carving that I did wrong. <laughs> now when I was happy with all of his Doctor Strange makeup, I gave him a fondant color and voila, my Doctor Strange cake was complete. What do you think? It feels like